Okay, the last thing I want to um, program, let's skip two more lines, is the allele frequency. Allele frequency in the next generation. So now that we have all these um, zygotes, um, I want to calculate the frequencies of each allele in this new generation. So we're going to calculate mu p and a new Q. And my class, you guys should be able to tell me what formula you need to input in here. Um, so pause the, the video and try to figure out a formula. Try it out and see if it works. Okay, let's see how you guys did. So we're basically counting uh, the number of A's, which is found in cell H29 in this case, right? And we're dividing by the number of total alleles, which is H29 plus J29. So 16 plus 26 in my case. Okay, hit enter. And there is your new P value. Now Q, you can do the same for Q or much easier, you can just take the difference from one, right? So equals one minus whatever P is, P is in cell H32. And that's all you need. So now we have our new P and our new Q values. It'd be interesting to compare those values to what we started off with. So we started with 0.4 and 0.6. Our new generation is pretty close, about 0.4 and 0.6. Okay, let's graph this. Okay, let's say I wanted you to graph the different genotypes of this new generation. Um, you would have to highlight this row right here, some for each genotype. Then um, there um, should be an insert tab up there. And in the insert tab, I'm gonna choose the bar graph function right there. Okay, 2D, and Excel automatically generates this nice looking bar graph, but you can see that it's missing some um, axes, labels, and titles. So you can input that chart title yourself. Um, genotype. In the next generation. And we now need to change the axis. So I'm going to click on that plus sign and add, add some titles. So for the y axis, that would be, let's see, that would be the total number of offspring with that genotype. Okay, and for the axis title, it would be the different genotypes. Okay, now to change the one, two, three to the actual genotypes, uh, what you need to do is click, right click on the graph and select, oh, that's not it. right click on the graph and okay so we want to select data okay so select data and instead of having the horizontal or x-axis labeled one two three we're going to edit that okay and select for our axis label um, these titles that are already in our spreadsheet so a1 B. Let's see, how do I highlight this? Okay, now let's change the labels on our x axis. Instead of one, two, three, I actually want the genotype name. So I'm going to click on the graph, right click on the graph and select data, 
Okay, hit select data. Okay, that'll pop up this screen. Now I want to edit the horizontal axis label. So hit the edit button. And now it tells you to choose the axis label range. Well, I can see that range here on my spreadsheet. So I'm going to select my genotype names, this column or this row. Okay, select that and hit OK. And now it's substituted those genotype names for one, two, and three, hit OK. And there is our finished graph. Okay, now you know enough about Excel and programming to play around with this system. As you can see here, I've um, highlighted some cells, make it look pretty. I've also generated a second generation using the values from my first generation. So under generation two, if you look under O2, I simply programmed O2 to show the p-value from the, the first generation. So basically equals H32. We'll copy the p-value of that generation. And for the q-value of the second generation, input it equals J32. So now we're starting off with this new frequency. Uh, I copy and pasted all of the formulas from my first generation into my second generation. Basically, it just took a few seconds to get the same output, same um, formulas. And now we have a brand new P and Q value for generation two. OK, you can also play around with the number of um, individuals in the population. So here I used about 20 individuals, but you can extend that to 100 or even 1,000 to see how the number in the population affects the, the allele frequencies of following generations. So have fun with it. Hope um, this was helpful, and I'll see you next time.